Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I'm coming to you from our beautiful science lab in our kitchen here. We are going to do a really cool experiment, or at least I hope it is. About 10, 12, 13 years ago or so, I was doing a, um, a, a project at a, a chemistry laboratory that was going out of business, and they were having us dispose of a bunch of things, and I came across this box, which just looks like any old cardboard box with some hazard labels on it, but um, the name of it made me very curious. It's called microcrystalline, uh, microcrystal chemical set. So I was like, ooh, that sounds really cool. I wonder what that does. And so I opened it up and checked it out. And the lab had gone out of business and we were just taking care of the chemicals. And so this was something that um, instead of throwing away, I thought it would be fun to try. And then, of course, I left it in my garage for the last 10 to 13 years. And now it's our time to, to see what's in here. So the labels on here, this yellow warning says oxidizer. Oxidizers are bad for organic tissue. So we're going to make sure that when we're touching the ones that are oxidizers, that we're not touching them with our hands, that we're just using the eyedroppers, uh, the, the protective equipment that's provided here. Uh, also has a health rating of three, meaning this is nothing, you, we don't want to eat or drink or do anything near this, and we want to make sure we wash our hands with soap and water really well afterwards. And now uh, we're using the cookie cookie sheet as our, um, our base to do our work on, but we'll make sure that we completely sanitize this before using it for baking. So we're going to go ahead and unpack this box. So inside here, we have the instructions. And so the instructions show that we have these really cool crystal forms on there. So this, it brought my mind to this lesson when we were doing the solid geometry lessons that Celia had requested. And here are the different crystalline forms. And also in the pyrite story, pyrite lesson I put up this morning, I was talking about how pyrite is a mineral that grows into a cubic form. And here are some other prism forms. So we're gonna look at these chemicals that grow into these different crystal forms on their own. We're gonna hope that this material, this, um, this kit that's probably 30 years old or more, still works. Okay, so um, our first step is to unpack this box here. We have a box of slides, and these slides are what we're going to prepare. We're gonna put droppers of different chemicals on here and see how they react. And here are the chemicals we have. We have aluminum ammonium sulfate, and we have sodium acetate, sodium nitrate. This, this one's the oxidizer. You can see that oxidizer symbol on there. This is potassium chromate. Here we have potassium phosphate and sodium chloride. So those are the chemicals that we'll be working with and putting droppers onto slides and letting the water evaporate off and seeing what kind of crystals grow. So I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna pull some slides out of here. I have my two helpers right over here, Selena and Abby. I'm gonna scoot out of the way so that they can get in here and do this work right here. And so you'll see their hands and my hands down here working. I'm gonna pull out the very first slide. Here it is right here. It's a slide that we put like under the microscope. I'm gonna see what we can do about a lack of a microscope at home. And we're gonna start with potassium phosphate. So I'm gonna give that to them. The proper way to shake a chemical is to put your finger over the lid or the cap and give it a gentle shake like that, but holding the lid on. So she's gonna do that. This is potassium phosphate. Okay, she's gonna put a dropper of that right here in the center of the slide. I don't know if I pointed out to you guys that we're all wearing our safety gear while we do this lesson. And there, she's got a dropper down in there. We're, for whatever reason, the camera's not coming into focus, but um, we'll have to take our word for it that she put a dropper down of that. Okay, here's our next slide. Selena's gonna do this one. This one is, um, this one will be our sodium acetate. Will you give that a shake? Okay, and she's gonna go ahead and put a drop there. Okay. Our next one will be sodium chloride. Go ahead and, oh, this one doesn't have, this one doesn't have an eyedropper attached to it. So we have some eyedroppers from our science lab at school that we're gonna use. 
Um, so go ahead and shake that one up and then we'll get a slide going for it. I need you to get off the paper. There we go. Okay, so she's gonna get a dropper of sodium chloride. Here's our next slide. This one we're going to do aluminum ammonium sulfate. Aluminum. Okay, she's going to put that dropper on there. We're getting really close to a chore party, so we're trying to be a little bit quick about this. Here's our next slide. This slide's gonna be potassium chromate. She's commenting on the fact that this one's not a clear liquid. This one is a yellow colored liquid. And our last slide is right here. And our last slide is for sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate is our um, oxidizer. So we're gonna be really careful with that one. Sodium nitrate. My pencil is skipping across the paper there. Sodium nitrate. Now, what's going to happen is we're gonna let this sit and evaporate off. And while that happens, the crystals should be forming within the liquid, because right now they're in solution, they're in the liquid. And as the liquid dries and evaporates away, the crystals should be able to be formed. Now, we don't have a microscope here at school or at home because we left it at school, but I did buy this cute little guy that hooks onto my phone. So the, the way it works is here's the camera on my phone this microscope hooks right over right over the camera and it takes pictures. So uh, you won't be able to see it through, it's harder to see it through while you're there. Let's see if we can find my, there's my finger. I don't know if you can see that my, oh, you're just seeing reflections of screens. Will this work? Nope, you're just seeing reflections of screens. We'll take some pictures and upload them to the video. Anyway, I don't know if you can hear the chiming. The chiming is telling us that it's three o'clock, which means it's time for a chore, chore dance party. party. So um, tune in next time to see what happens with these chemical crystal saturation solution experiments that we're doing. We're hoping that they turn out really well. Here I have my scientist buddies, Selena and Abby. Remember, if you're doing science at home, you should always wear your personal protective equipment, make sure you're covering your workspace so that you don't, you don't get anything, um, a mess where you shouldn't get a mess because then your parents will be mad at you and me and we don't want that. Okay, I, I can't wait to share with you the results of our experiment. I miss you a lot and I wish we were doing this in person, but I'm glad we can do it this way. Bye-bye.